<laughs> where a school district in the state's panhandle has removed more than 1,600 books from its library shelves. The books are under review for compliance with the state's sex education law that went into effect last summer. Now, that law prohibits sex education and books describing sexual content to students in fifth grade or below. Okay, it was quite controversial, as you might imagine, something that Ron DeSantis, uh, speaking of the Iowa caucuses, was pushing. <laughs> now, books under review in Escambia County include five dictionaries, eight encyclopedias, the Guinness Book of World Records, biography biographies of Beyonce and Oprah Winfrey, Bill O'Reilly's books, Killing Jesus and Killing Reagan, and... Anne Frank's diary. I saw this, the dictionary, this, like, what's going on here? Is this just a straight troll? No, this is really serious, and this is something some conservatives are pushing for, and it's absolutely idiotic, because what happens when you ban some things, or it's in the eye of the beholder, what's offensive, what's violent, what's pornographic, and it doesn't take a big imagination for conservatives to imagine liberals using the same tools against them. This is some form of a troll, though, right? I mean, there is in theory, sexually explicit or sexual content in the dictionary, right? Like, definitions of words all over the place. Bless. You could, that's, the point is you could make this point about any book, any right. piece of material. And also, the problem is that we're not reading. 20% of Americans are illiterate. The kids are not reading, period. That's the major issue. And 54% of Americans have a sixth grade le reading level. Um, they can find whatever they want online. That's the bigger issue. It's even bigger than social media. Books and libraries are not are not the issue. Bless here. their heart. We actually need more kids to pick up dictionaries, yes, encyclopedias, about, exactly. diary yeah. of Anne Frank. Like this is an area where I think Republicans miss the mark, and all these claims about Democrats being snowflakes. But you have re Republican governors now banning books that we're not talking said, about. Yeah, like no, so, these ones are these ones are under so review. Yeah, but no let me ask you this: as, as Michael, did you miss the mark? Did, uh, did your party miss the mark on this? Uh, actually, Ooh. that well, no, but th that law was was promulgated to uh, prevent sexualized content for up to third grade. I thought it was, although apparently fifth Elementary, grade now. But, yeah. but I think it may have been third grade. But uh, it was the Florida legislature had to uh, pass that law in order for Governor DeSantis to sign it. And as I recall, at least a plurality of Democrats. No, I'm not. A plurality of Democrats also supported that law. Okay, and no book is being banned. Books have always been selectively admitted to school libraries. If, if, you're, if you're explaining, the I'm, not, world records, I'm, like, not, I'm not like, arguing but, that those books are books that should be that you have excluded laws like from this. school libraries. Like people take it too far. Well, yes. and, and they're idiotic. That's okay. That's and on in the local digital school. age, the idea that we're going to stop the spread of certain information or words or phrases when totally kids everywhere it. you look have a phone and a tablet in their hand, yeah, well, unless you're going to ban Google from existence and YouTube, good luck. Fair enough, but I think there's something to be said for schooling that keeps kids uh, somewhat protected. And the writer Corey But I thought said, Republicans are against the nanny state. Like, this is the epitome well, of... I want to let Nan finish. Republicans, finish Republicans are for school choice on the part of parents and not dunning taxpayers uh, for public schools that don't work for them. So that's where Republicans are. And they're right about that. And the writer Corey Ten Boom uh, once described how her father had, had said, there are some burdens, she's, he said it to her when she was a child, there's some burdens I don't want you to have to bear. And I think we have to bear that in mind when we're talking You're, about I wish children. Republicans cared as much about kids getting killed in schools as they did about the words in the dictionary. They okay, I'll let you respond to that. Because, <laughs> I, yeah, I mean... That's, they don't. That's silly. They don't. And no, that's... We'll be here for the kids. All right, let, let, me, let me just Come ask on. you a question. Let me just Come ask on. you a question. Who advocates for school resource officers, members of which party overwhelmingly? I remember that there were a bunch of resource officers and security folks at school Evaldi, and they didn't show officers. up. They actually did the opposite. Okay. Okay. Like, I mean, this on. is exactly okay. what like, causes everybody to turn going to tune out to it, though, because we end up having these book discussions that become these larger, well, purely political things. I'm responding here, to the, the Here was Bill O'Reilly, and I'll leave you with this. He said, if Florida County removes my books, killing Jesus and killing Reagan from school libraries, preposterous. We are investigating and seeking comment from Governor DeSantis. This will not stand. Bill O'Reilly's books uh, under review. All right. Thank you for watching, and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.